hey guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to make stylized trees like this um, there's many different ways you can actually create these but I'm going to show you one of the uh, few um, there is a, one issue using this method though and that's like the leaves kind of uh, you can see the leaves through each other and it kind of um, overlaps but that's not really that much of an issue really so yeah let's get into it before we get into the video you guys should check out my discord server it's not overly active at the moment but i'd like to get it a lot more active and um, we currently have roughly about 60 members and all that kind of stuff so if you guys want to show off your work and all that kind of stuff and get different feedback you should join up also i'll be hosting giveaways through here and all that kind of stuff so i highly recommend that you join if you are interested in my channel or anything i do uh, also stay tuned to the end of the video i'll be doing a giveaway um, other than that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I'm pretty sure most of you guys could probably guess how these are, uh, these trees are made. But for those who don't, basically all you need is an image that's transparent, preferably white so you can change the color through the uh, Roblox Studio properties. And you kind of want like a leaf like leaf shape, preferably in like a circle that fills up kind of like a, a plane if you know what I mean. So you want something like this, you can find it on Google. I personally commissioned this a long time ago for like 500 Robux or something like that. That's how I have it. But find an image like this, um, as close as you can get, preferably. And uh, that's basically all you need to do this, uh, this method of stylized trees. Now, once you have your image, you want to go ahead and create your tree stump like this. I'm sure you guys are capable of creating a tree stump, so I'm going to leave this out of the tutorial because it's fairly basic. Uh, once you have this you want to import a well you want to add a sphere part right here you may be asking why are we adding a sphere part so the reason being is if I look at these they're kind of in like a, a circular shape this is usually what you find in like stylized trees and stuff like that so the first thing you want to do is you want to import a plane now to do that you want to go into blender click add mesh and then plane all you want to do is press R to rotate uh, Y to um, rotate in the Y axis and press 90 so it rotates 90 degrees and then all you want to do is file export FBX you don't even have to um, add the texture or anything on this now to import it into studio fairly basic you go to view click asset manager and click this little icon go to wherever you saved it I named mine plane if I can find it there you go just click apply to import it sometimes it may appear that it had uh, with red um, red words here and it says it hasn't imported just uh, cancel it and then re-import it and it should work now once you've imported your plane the first thing you want to do is resize it to whatever you want to have the size of the uh, leaves basically and um, I recommend you use this method I use so you grab a sphere make it roughly the same size like so and then press plus on the part and then add a decal you can use a texture as well it doesn't really matter and then you can find your texture here you can click add image and find your image but I already have it imported in as you can see you've got a plane here with your texture on it now the next thing you want to do is you want to change the transparency of your plane here so find transparency one and now you can see your texture but not the plane so the next thing you want to do is you want to disable collisions so you want to anchor it and disable collisions so you can't actually interact with it with your character okay so the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on your decal color it whatever you want um, you know I'm gonna go for like a, a dark greenish here now the next thing you want to do is you want to basically click on your plane and kind of copy and paste it all around this sphere so it kind of creates this um, this circular look like so and then you want to add your odd few parts here just so it's more uh, bunched up so just rotate them 
until you're happy with the amount of leaves you have like so and that's basically your leaves complete now once you've done all that you want to go ahead and delete the, uh, the sphere inside so I'm just going to click that delete it you know you can group these if you'd like I'm going to name them leaves and now you can use these as like a bush if you want so stuff like this you know that works too or you can go ahead and just put them up here as you can see I missed a little bit of a gap here so if you have a gap you know just grab some uh, leaves rotate them until you fill up all the gaps really you don't want to have any gaps because the moment you have a gap you can kind of see through uh, your object and then it kind of starts looking weird when you look at it from uh, certain angles um, like I said there's different kind of methods you can use this, this is a very basic method um, I'm pretty sure in beta features you can kind of add wind to them and stuff so they blow in the wind and all that kind of stuff I'm pretty sure they use a different method though but other than that you know you could just copy and paste them on top of your trees like this you want to add a variation of uh, rotations and stuff like that so I'm going to scale this up and move it down as you can see there's still gaps in the leaves but you know you get the point I'm pretty sure and then there you go you have your stylized tree okay as for the giveaway I'm gonna be giving away a thousand robux to one person and a discord uh, classic to another person so what you guys need to do is go down in the comments comment giveaway and link your Twitter profile if you don't have a Twitter profile you know join my discord DM me you might be able to win the discord th um, classic however I'd prefer if you guys follow me on Twitter um, DM me at Twitter and comment down below I'm gonna check whether you guys are subscribed to my channel follow me on Twitter and are in the discord server if you can't join one of the three that's fine I'll work around that but um, other than that you know join those three I'll leave links in the description and I'll be doing the giveaway in, in a few days um, whenever we've gav gathered enough uh, entries other than that I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one peace